Hey Rick fans, welcome back to the Rick Bakery, where all our jokes are half baked and most of bricks are medium rare. Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome back. This is another Friday evening live stream and I hope you are all doing very, very well. You might be noticing a slight change from my normal setup. Now, tonight I hope that the technical difficulties have disappeared. And um, we are only streaming with one camera. I'm actually streaming on my iPhone, which I normally don't do. Uh, but right now my computer is at the repair shop to, uh, to be repaired so I can actually start streaming with my two cameras again. So this uh, has been a long endeavor to get to this point where we can actually stream again in some, some sort of reliable fashion. And I see that Brick Studio has come along together with Cas from Blockit UK. Great to see both of you. Great, great, great evening, Jacob. How are you? I am great. Thank you for asking, Cas. I hope you are uh, well too, or maybe that you've gotten, or gotten over your cold. I see Lego Maniac. Hey, hey, hey! Completely forgot about the stream. Was deep in editing. Good thing my computer gave me a notification that says Lego Maniac. Good thing it did. I wasn't sure if actually notifications would be going up, but um, whatever, whatever brought you here, I'm happy that you are here. Today I am building this. This is the 31068, and you might be saying to yourself, well, haven't he been, hasn't he built this one before? And yes, yes indeed I have. I have built this one before. Uh, but today I'm building an alternate build. If you go back to one of my older haul videos, you'll see that I bought three of these uh, because they are great for parts. Some great uh, masonry bricks in here, some great windows, doors, all that good stuff. So I thought, why just open it up and sort it out when you can actually open it up and build an alternate build instead? I think I will try to build this alternate build as well at some point, but today we're all about this alternate up here, which I have been looking very much forward to building because it has this very interesting roof up here, which I think looks pretty cool, which I think looks pretty cool. Hello, my friends. I still have a hot cough and cold. My voiceovers for next week's videos sound terrible, says Kaz. Oh, I, we won't mind. It's good. We can't be healthy all the time. I think I've put out a couple of videos where I sound like an old tuba because I've been sick. Are you going to get the Ola Frozen 2 set? Uh, ask Brick Studio. Hey, Rogue Transformation. I didn't even know it had come out. I had seen a video with Frozen uh, theme, but that means it has come out or what? Hey, Lego Fan MP Celeste, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, no, I didn't know there was actually a new Frozen sets out. Uh, for some reason, I haven't really kept in the loop over the last few days. Is it any good? Are people getting that? The Ola Frozen 2 set. Sounds interesting. The, 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 the last set. I know anything about is um, are those from the uh, uh, Lego Ideas stuff that uh, we got the news just just last was it this week no last week I think uh, where the um, where the uh, Pirate Bay set got uh, got accepted as an official production set I'm really looking forward to seeing what that will bring uh, and how that will look once we get to that point. So here we go, all the stuff has come out of the box. And the first thing I think we want to do is find the right build. As I said, I'm building the one of the altern alternates um, in this one. Just have to figure out where it is, or do I have to download those? I thought they were all in here, but I may be mistaken. I may be mistaken. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's, it's something like, ah, uh, yeah, some, some of it is one part. Okay, so... Do, 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 do. This is down here. I'll have to put in something to remind me where it is. Yeah, all right. 128. Okay, so I have to build this for all of them, or is it only for two of them? I'll have to see here. Do, 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 do. No, I have to build one of these. All right, so that's good. That's good. Build one of the small ones for this. All right. All right, all right, all right. Hey, what's up, teacher? Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, 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 my friend. Hope you are doing great on this Friday. 
and that you're going to have a wonderful weekend. As uh, I don't know how many of you was here from the very start, but uh, I was trying to explain how, um, why it is that uh, my setup is uh, a little different than it usually is. My computer that I usually stream from is currently at a repair shop, and it'll be some weeks. It'll be some weeks before I get it back from repairs. I I have a good idea what was wrong with it. It's mostly a question of what it'll cost to repair it and if that is sort of a viable option for me. If not, I will have to do something else else streaming-wise. But for now, I'm um, I'm hoping that that computer can be repaired because, you know, it was a nice computer. Uh, and everything was set up on that one, which is always nice. It's nice to sort of have everything sort of together in the same way, or what do you want to say? Um, I think at least. So yeah. Uh, anyone take a look at any Lego reductions on Triple Force Friday? Asks uh, Rogue Transformation. I haven't really looked, but I have seen that we are getting double, uh, double, what's that? Double VIP points today. That's pretty good. Um, it's if you want to buy the Star Destroyer, it might be a good time to get it now because now you're getting double VIP points for all those monies that you are uh, putting into that purchase. Uh, so maybe maybe that will be a good day to do do that uh, here on the Triple Force Friday. The USC Star Destroyer is still somehow out of range. Not that I want it anyway, says Rogue Transformation. Oh well. My computers suffer from dust and linen fiber choke. They break bigger. You have to keep cleaning them out. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, however, there was a uh, it was a mechanical thing. Uh, simply the the cover on the screen on the LCD screen had broken in one corner, which meant that it was continuously sort of uh, put, pulling some wires inside, which meant that the screen flickered uncontrollably. Uh, so it wasn't just it wasn't just um, uh, it wasn't just a, a, a cleaning that was needed. It was, it was spare parts and maybe a, a small bit of repairs as well. So uh, yeah, I hope to get it back within say 14 days from now. But uh, we'll see. I, I think if they have to do repairs, it'll be it'll be a bit longer. Have just finished unpacking my Micropolis from Scarpic. Still have the GBC module stuffed into their travel boxes, says Cass. Yes, I can imagine there's a lot of sort of uh, unpacking and cleaning up to do after a trip like that, Cass. I hope you are. Uh, <laughs> I hope it's. I hope it's going great. That you are um, really, really. I know you enjoyed that trip because I enjoyed meeting you, and it was. Uh, it was just a cool, a cool thing, really. Um, a Scarpic fan weekend I first attended last year that was my first time this year was the second time I was there and of course as I've told you guys several times I brought uh, cameraman uh, Lars which is also the guy who helped me out with my channel logo I first built a prototype of it in Lego and he helped me draw it in uh, in uh, Photoshop and I think it turned out really well. It's a great logo and I'm really happy for all his help and for all his help on um, on SFW. It was a great event and I think uh, the interviews I have edited uh, until this point has turned out pretty good. Actually, um, yeah, so so uh, you can see the first of those interviews has already come up. It came up yesterday on my channel. And uh, yeah, if you're curious to see that, you can head right over there once you are done following this stream, of course. <laughs> um, and uh, have a look-see at what it all is. And we start out by me not being able to find a brick. Hurrah, there we go. Um, yeah, so, well... Rogue Transformation, we all enjoyed that trip break bakery and Bucket UK. Yeah, that's good. And I see a lot of people are interested in that, uh, are, are saying thank you for the interview. There will be more, but it was a great interview. Cass is a wonderful interviewee. I really enjoyed doing that with her. Great dynamic, I think. 
Uh, it was a fantastic trip despite the long drive. Just could have done without getting immediately ill when I got home, says Kaz. Well, yeah, well, better now than uh, when you're in Denmark and have, I don't know, what, a thousand kilometers to go back home or something like that. Better, better that, I'd say. But I do know what you mean. It's always annoying to get sick. But better, better after the holiday than during. That's what I say. That is what I say. So, um, Scabby Fan Weekend was a great experience. I was told that there was actually 1,100, 1100 participants, if you uh, counted uh, those who had actually been registered. And then there was all those that they call uh, the tourists. Now, I'm, I wasn't actually a registered uh, visitor. There's a whole thing you can join and then you'll get to join the a fall day at the lego house and such not that i didn't want to do that it's just i don't have the time right now and uh, it does take you know holiday time you have to take the days off to get there for me at least and uh, some some year i will do that that's for sure but uh, it wasn't this year but um so i was there with uh, with my camera guy Lars, who is actually the proprietor proprietor of uh, film Hulun which means the f uh, movie cave or film cave, which is a Danish um, movie review podcast. He has a YouTube page as well. You can go check it out. F-I-L-M-H-U-L-E-N, Film Hulen. Uh, but unfortunately, the thing is in Danish, so you probably won't get too much of it if you do not speak Danish. Or if you're practicing Danish, it would maybe be a good way to sort of um, get to know a bit about it that way. Boo, 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 boo. Got the con sickness. That is all too common, says Lego Lamaniac. Hey, Lego Snazzy. Hello, hello, hello. And Harley Lego Channel. Harley, welcome, welcome, welcome. And Butt Shop 2021. Welcome, 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 my friend. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's been a while since I've seen Butt Shop, I think. But uh, welcome, welcome, my friend. Good to see you as always. Hope you're doing great. I hope you all are doing great. So yeah, uh, but I was just talking about the SFW, which is a Danish Lego event that went down last weekend. And um, my participation there, as well as Kaz from Brockett UK, who was also there. And uh, if you haven't seen it already, I did an interview with her, which is now up on my ch ch channel. There will be more, of course. Now, there was a lot of great builders there and a lot of great things to see. I can only recommend that you go there. Um, also because it's actually an international event. This looks very nice. I like this. Oh, but it is an, an international event. Uh, and that means there's a lot of international people there. Um, and they are very, very friendly and, uh, and very nice. They want to talk to you and tell you about the things that they've been building. And there's so many great models to see. It's just amazing how creative people yeah, all the techniques and all the stuff, all the all not not just techniques, but but all the themes, all the stuff that people have put together with these bricks, it's just it's just so impressive. I was impressed all day, and and I didn't nearly get to do all the interviews that I would have loved to do because there was so much uh, that uh, that was just really really interesting, really really beautiful, and uh, yeah, but there wasn't just. I only had so much time that I had to go back home and um, yeah, I, I did what I could and um, what I did do I think turned out pretty good, so yeah. So that was sort of a, sort of a very very short, um, uh, what do you say, overview of my trip to, uh, to Skabe, a great event. Great, great, great event. I can only recommend that great, great event. Ah, yeah. Beep, 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 beep. And there we go. No, that's the other way around, like this. And this. Humpty Dum, good evening, says Lady Brick Skater. Welcome, 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 my friend. Welcome to this live stream. Great to see you. 
I've kept most of my printing order receipts Lego room for years ago. If I stable them all together, I have quite a history book catalog. Never seem to have enough bricks though. <laughs> I think that's true for most Lego builders. <laughs> Hello, retro Lego collector. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Could we change six figs? Would you like to do an interview with me? Says retro Lego collector. Uh, you should email me and we can talk about how to do stuff. Um, I will pay you a visit, bot shop. I take it not many Lego channels. I am actually pretty short on sick fix at the moment because I have been sending them out. Uh, over the last few weeks to different people and that's great but that means i do need more but i've also said that i won't buy any more well i did say lego sets so buying stuff of brickley might you know that might be a technicality and i could get out of it but i but basically i have said that i'm not buying any more lego uh, before new year's so except if except if I, uh, except if i get a really good deal or, or if it's a small seasonal set and maybe an advent calendar. But other than that, I am buying no more Lego this year. Because I have plenty for now. Unless I get a good deal. And of course, so uh, as I just said, I, I, I do not have any sick fix currently. Uh, so sending out some would be rather difficult for me. Uh, so right now I cannot do anything like that. The people who have sent me Sick Fix at this point are fully aware. And I will of course return a Sick Fix as soon as we've hit next year. It's not that far off, is it? It's only what three months? Yeah, that'll be that'll be gone in a jiffy. That'll be gone in a jiffy 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 jiffy. Oh I've forgotten about this. I've forgotten that these modulars are made like this, that you can sort of take these parts in and out like this. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's a great idea. I like that. I like that. Do, 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 do. Hello, Renny the Space Guy. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ba -da 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 -da. Howdy, peeps, he says. Well, howdy. Um, I need this. All right, so now I'm doing the door. Doing the door? I'm doing the door. I'm making the door. Hold the door, hold the door. Saddest scene in that series, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. So, I saw recently that, um, just today actually, that uh, Lego is, uh, is, 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 is teaming up with some Polish publisher to make, I guess, children's books, which is uh, kind of interesting. Um, they have, of course, published plenty of stuff, uh, magazines, also books and, and, and uh, different kinds, types of, uh, uh, what do you call those? Not a book, but uh, activity books and such. Uh, and so it's not, not, not a foreign concept for Lego, but it um, seems that they've gone, into, um, they've gone into publishing, which uh, might be good and it might not. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know what I... I'm not sure I don't know I'm not sure I know much uh, official Lego uh, text production stuff uh, so I'm not sure I, I'm, I'm very qualified to say anything about what might be come from that collaboration with a Polish publisher but it does seem that they will be producing different original content so I'm um, looking forward to see what that will be all about and uh, and what they'll come up come up with Kabamba come up with come up with my email is on the about page if you look for it thank you for that question brick bakery your microphone and camera guy really did the trick your interview quality improved tenfold yes i agree i agree and thank you by the way but i really agree that having a camera guy with me was just gold, pure gold, and he was actually very good at, at also sort of reminding me of different stuff and um, you know having some ideas on how to do things and uh, I think I think that paid off uh, very well and uh, and doing you know having a guy doing b-roll while you are doing all the sort of more administrative stuff 
uh, concerning the uh, the interview. Uh, that that's cool. That's really cool. That's really nice. And then you don't have to think about everything because last year I had to uh, I had to do the interview and then take a lot of film afterwards. Uh, to actually try to fill out the whole interview with with film, I did the film on uh, I did the filming on my phone, and the interview itself I did on a separate uh, what do you say? What do you say? Separate uh, uh, dictaphone. Yes, that's what it was. Small little tape recorder. Uh, I agree. Big Gregory was it was a great interview. I sense a bright future for him in this space. Well, thank you very much, the Lego Room. That was very nice of you to say so. I um, There will be coming more interviews, of course. But uh, And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to editing the rest of them. I think I've edited three or four at this point. And uh, yeah, I think the result is pretty good. And not all is perfect. Uh, and I don't think it should be. I am still an amateur. So uh, I have... Uh, I don't have any... I don't have any sort of demands on myself that things should be perfect, but, um, whoops, there we go. Uh, there we go. Um, yeah, sorry, I, don't, I lost my track, sorry. The calling of the wife has sounded. I must dutifully say goodbye to all for now. Hope you all have a great night around Jacob's live stream. Night, night. Well, see you later, Rock Transformations. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye and all that. Say hello to your family and have a wonderful weekend. Yes, it would be good if you had a wonderful weekend. That's the little song to sing you off to your weekend. Oh. Watch out Joshua Hanlon. Ooh, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not competing. No, 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 no. Um, actually, we, we, I did meet both John and Josh. We did talk a bit um, at the SFW. Very nice guys. They do have a great channel, that's for sure. And um, I'm... Uh, I'm actually already involved with their channel, which is pretty good for me. I, I really enjoy that work. Um, yeah, so I did talk with them, and 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 uh, I assure you, there is no sense of competition or something like that. No ill will, and even though we will eventually, and I know we have in the previously in the past, we will publish uh, interviews with some of the same people. I don't think that matters because every interview is different. You can get something different from each of them, so there's no reason not having two. Um, this is the same reason why people go on several TV uh, channels to do their uh, to do their promotion for something. You know, even though you know, uh, generally the, the the things that said might be the same, but details are different. There's just yeah, different different stuff. And yes, I do know you were joking. Uh, Cass, don't worry, don't worry. I'm just. I think. I think it's fair to. Uh, I think. I actually think it's fair to address or ask if 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 this is uh, if I'm trying to compete with with Beyond the Brick and and no, I'm not. <laughs> Those guys have been doing this for seven years now, I think, and they are just brilliant at it. So this is. I don't. I don't consider this competition. I consider it um, me trying to be curious and wanting to talk with people that's actually all it is um, and uh, when the result is, is is as good or hopefully keeps being as good as it was with the example of Cass's interview um, then I'm motivated to make more but I think there's plenty of room to do that uh, I, I, I'm nowhere near being a threat to uh, to, to beyond the brick in any sense of the word and not I should never I don't threat is such a wrong wrong word anyway but uh, I don't know what what word I could use I'm not I'm not in any kind of competition in any way I don't think we're competing actually so 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 I think it's fair to ask the question but I think it's not it's not a thing uh, don't think we're competing don't think we're yeah so that's that's good I enjoyed it and uh, I think I think John and Josh are of the same uh, of the same opinion to be honest to be honest uh, 
I thought both you and Josh were great interviewers. No idea when my B2B interview will come out. We shall see. I know that uh, Josh and John just just for following the channel, you can you can you you can be like that. So I'm pretty sure Josh and John ha has a lot of content, and they're just just, just just they want to get something out every day, but only every day. So um, if they make ten interviews on on one day, you know, it'll be at least 10 videos before a specific, it can be at least 10 videos before a specific uh, interview shows up. And additionally, additionally, uh, I'm missing a blue flower. No, here. Um, additionally, if they have a lot of backlog, you know, it might be even longer before something specific shows up, but then it will show up eventually, I'm sure. I, I'm not very, very well involved in their process at all but just from looking at their channel and, and seeing their content I, I, uh, I, I'm I guessing that it, it can be a while and um, but it will be up I'm sure of it I'm sure of it yes exactly says Pocket UK yes I'm, it, I'm, I'm so happy we agree <laughs> uh, yeah Boop. so uh quick mention on the computer yes um i don't know how many of you were here in the beginning uh is their channel a full-time job yes it is uh, the lego room uh both john and josh josh do that work uh full-time uh both of them uh travel around the world do interviews all that good stuff it's i'm really impressed with all the work they do but yeah it is they do do that um Full time, so that's uh, that's really cool. Who would? Oops, that the hats are falling. <laughs> who wouldn't love to do that? I mean, who wouldn't love to uh, to just go out and interview people about Lego uh, seven days a week? That's just that's just great. Do, 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 do. So what was I saying? Uh, yeah, computer, computer. So uh, the thing is, uh, the, the reason why I'm streaming on my phone right now is because. I have already talked briefly about this, but I think I'll go into just a little more detail. Uh, is that my computer broke uh, and um, the screen was flickering, and I had to go to a uh, repair shop to uh, to get them to do something. Now, being there, uh, I realized this would take some time. It would be at least fourteen work days before they could actually identify the uh, error for me, uh, even though we. Almost saw the error in 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 view at on the day, but uh, because of them doing it for free, they have a delay. So that's fine by me. I I if I didn't want to wait, uh, I would have to pay, um, you know, two hundred to six hundred Danish uh, to actually get it quicker. And if the repair is let's say a thousand Danish, then I've already paid sixteen hundred Danish. For a repair that's uh, that could be cheaper, so I'm waiting. That's fine. I'm getting a free, a free. Uh, they are identifying the error for free, which is pretty good. Is this a, is this a garden gnome? That's very funny, actually. I like that. At first, I thought it was a, a bird of some sort, but uh, it's actually a garden gnome. I'm pretty sure, which is uh, pretty funny. That's very funny. I like that. So yeah, so uh, it'll be at least 14 days, 14 work days before they have actually identified the error. And then uh, it'll be whatever time it takes for them to actually do the repairs. So it might be a while actually, I'm realizing, before I will uh, come back to my regular setup with uh, two cameras. Uh, burning tree is super cute. I agree 100%. Hey Ingrid Wynn, hey hey hey, can't stay, I'm driving. Ooh, ooh, be careful. Don't 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 drive. Uh, uh, but uh, have a nice trip wherever you're going though. <laughs> um, yeah, so this was um this was uh, step number 40. I think actually we uh, I'm kind of racing through this one. There's not much build to be done actually. Oh, there's a little more garden stuff right here, so I'll be doing that of course. So yeah, so there might be a, a two three times in a row where I'm streaming from my phone because it's simply the most reliable solution I've found yet. Um 
And uh, yeah, <clears throat> the thing is I do have a Mac and people might be saying, so why don't you use your Mac? I will tell you why I don't use my Mac. My Mac gets incredibly hot when I use it for something like streaming. And then the, uh, the, 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 what you call that? The, 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 the air cooling unit, the fan goes into high gear and it sounds like I'm sitting, sitting in a wind tunnel because I'm using the onboard uh, microphone. Um, and then you might ask, so why don't you get an not onboard microphone? Well, I've been using plenty of, plenty, plenty of money uh, on different kinds of equipment for the last month or two, uh, especially because I wanted to prepare for the SFW. So I'm not, I'm not there where I can actually buy a microphone. I might buy one at some point anyway, because I would like to upgrade that part of my streaming as well. So once I get the computer back and I'm back to streaming with two cameras, the next upgrade might be a microphone to improve sound just a tiny smidgen because now I'm at a point with my regular videos where I think I'm pretty satisfied with my sound. I'm, I've, I've found that, the, yeah, that, that works pretty good. I use a small lavalier mic. It's right here on my uh, shirt when I do that. And that works pretty good. Uh, it sounds pretty good and I'm, I'm learning to control the uh, distortion more and more. I have released some videos that had quite a bit of distortion but that was just because that was what I could do at that point. So uh, I'm learning as I go and um, it's getting better and better. It's getting there. And uh, yeah, so I would like my live streams to have the same kind of quality sound wise. Unfortunately, even though I'm sitting in a very, very small room where I live, there's still a lot of uh, room noise here, so so and that's that's sort of um, captured by oh this is very nice a small seesaw that's cool that's cool eh, funny 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 so th this goes here like this and there's a small garden at the house I can't find da, da, da. can you s can you use frozen peas on the map? <laughs> Uh, no, thank you. There's no email on my about page. Are you sure? Uh, it should be there. It should be there. Down at the bottom of the about page, there should be an email. <laughs> hello, Rick Charles. Hello, hello. You just logged in. Oh, I like this set. Hope you are well, Jacob. Thank you, Rick Charles. Yes, I am great. I, uh, yeah, I'm having a wonderful evening here. I'm building a little Lego set. And uh, yeah, we're talking, just talking a bit about uh, my computer trouble and why I'm currently streaming from my iPhone. This will probably be the solution for a couple of weeks because I have currently sent my computer for live streaming off to repairs. There was some faulty wiring and a panel that has come, had come loose. I'm pretty sure it had broken inside. So yeah, uh, that means that this will probably be the setup for a couple of live streams, if not a little more than that. So you'll have to, uh, you'll have to settle with that. So that was what we were talking about. That is what we were talking about. But how are you doing, Big Trolls? I hope you're doing great and that you are going to have a wonderful weekend. How is everybody doing, actually? Are you all well? Um, are you doing good? Are you having a fantastic day? It's been 14 days today since I did my last live stream. And it's been a while since I've heard for, from some of you. So it would be great to have a small update if you have anything new to report. Good to see you too, my friend. Um, do do do. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da 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 -da. Don't go. So this is this. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -da -da -da. That's that. Oh, this is very quickly done, isn't it? And also a lot of leftover pieces as well. I'm a little surprised that it's so many leftover pieces, actually. Hmm. 
that's a that's a short one that's only half an hour I usually try to go for an hour uh, because I think that's very fitting I enjoy one hour streaming but it leaves us with a lot of breaks maybe we can uh, maybe we can do something with all of that we'll see in just a second when I'm done with this when I'm done with this boop and boop and da -da -da. Ew. there and this very nice roof and that goes on top of here so yeah so that's that build actually but I like it actually and there's a seesaw maybe we put the two minifigures in there yes I'm fine thanks Jacob Brick Bakery, uh, been busy with two new kittens. Ooh, very nice. Are they uh, are they very young or or what? I mean, new, new in the sense are they newly born or or what is that? This looks nice. I like this and I like the small bird up here. The interior may be a little lacking at this point, but there are a lot of other bricks, so maybe we could do something for the interior. I'll just have to see here what's in here. I'll put this door in here, that's very nice. <laughs> There's some see through of those, that's very nice. So maybe hmm, I'm thinking this blue here as well. A lot of these blue ones. Hmm, I think maybe. Maybe we could do a sofa for the interior. Yeah, let's do that. Let's say this is the this is the back of the sofa, and ooh, it's going to be a very <laughs> very colorful sofa. Uh, that's good. Um, there we go, and for seating as well. So small sofa that can go on the interior as well. Hmm, not too much room though, but we will put it like this. Now we'll just put a put a guy in it. Here we go. Oh, was there anyone? Oh, there's these. Ah, uh, I see. We can do um, we can do something else. Do hey, Hamburg City Bricks. Good evening, good evening, good evening. And look at this brand. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I have been taking my city apart and packing away the Lego room. It's going to it's it's going to replace the floor. Oh, you're putting in new floors. Oh, that sounds very interesting, actually. Hamburg City Briggs. I actually met him on uh, SFW. He was there as well. That was very good. That was very good. I uh, hope uh, hope you had a wonderful time there. We did we did actually meet up very shortly. Um, but I was very busy and I think maybe uh, Hamburg City Bricks was pretty busy as well. He did a lot of uh, great filming. He has some videos up on his channel where he sort of... Did you actually manage to cover everything? I think you did. I think you did manage to cover everything that was there. Which is very, very cool actually that you did manage to do that. Um, you may have noticed that I am done with this build, but I'm just sitting here just trying to figure out if there's something I could do with all these pieces. There is a lot of great stuff, and um, I think maybe an hour is a little too short. Oh, I could of course snag a poly bag. Do I have a poly bag? I'm not sure. Let's just a second, I'll see if I have a poly bag lying around. Maybe that would be good for now. Boop, 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 boop. is actually an older poly bag uh, and I found it at a um, at another Lego event here in Denmark that's called Clusfest. It's a small hot dog cart which is uh, it's pretty different from the newest hot dog cart but I never managed to find the newer one. I actually found this one before and I got it at the same price so and I think this would look good in my city actually. It would work well so I think I'll um, I'll put this one together now instead. 
Hey, Tango4, you one, two, three. What's up? What's up? What's up, my friend? We just got done. I just got done building the 31068 modern house alternate build, and um, because that went, oops, because that went a little fast, I am now building a little whoops a hot dog stand that I bought not too long ago. It's this one, not too long ago on a Lego event here in Denmark. It's called Klusfest. Um, yeah. I never really managed to find the uh, the newest one, which is one I would really not love to have. But I have not yet been able to find it anywhere. Of course, on Bricklink I could find it, but um, but other than that, I haven't been been able to find it in shops or anything. And I would love to have it. Uh, but such a small thing is something I would love to uh, not buy mail order because you know it's just it seems it seems excessive to some, to some extent to buy something like that uh, mail order. Uh, because it's um, it's just a small thing. It's just a tiny, tiny, small thing. So yeah, uh, I'm building this hot dog stand instead. And uh, yeah, I hope it'll fit well in my city. I always like like getting new bikes like this one. Uh, even though the wheel is kind of not wanting to do what I want it to do. Eh. No, 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 no. Don't fall away. Don't. There we go. And the wheel is on. I love how well they run these wheels. It's just they keep going forever and ever and ever. It's very nice. And there's a woman as well with a very nice hair. He's, is this is this the same hair piece as Woodshop Teacher? Huh? Huh? Did you have a great time at the SFW cast? Asks Hamburg Sidrix. I think this is the same hair that Woodshop Teacher uses for his sick fig. Is very 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 impressive actually a lamp arm sales booth lamp arm lamp arm oh yeah sure lamp arms yes lamp arm lamp arm yeah that's true it sells lamp arms that's true i had a great time hbc even though it was 1.5 day drive each way but who wouldn't like a road trip huh and we got a girl on a bike we got a girl on a, oops, she fell over. <laughs> I'm not allowed to drive bicycles anymore because I always fall over. Brick Bakery, yes it is. Want to learn to make a braid like that. Yes, I can see why. It's a pretty, pretty impressive. I, I must say the stuff like this has come a long way since I was a child. Uh, I remember there only being uh, one two girls' uh, haircuts um, before Paradisa showed up. There was only two uh, different haircuts for, for female wigs. One with two uh, uh, pigtails and uh, one that's just sort of flat, parted in the middle hair. I actually have a couple of videos coming up in the next few weeks uh, which showcases exactly that haircut. So yeah, you can look forward to that. And uh, speaking of... What is coming up next week? I usually um, I usually uh, try to tell you a bit about what it is that I have planned for the upcoming week when I do these live streams and when we are nearing the end. And um, I know what it is. I just don't remember. So <laughs> I just have to look at my release schedule uh, one quick time. So yeah, on Monday there will be a there will be a yeah on Monday there will be a uh, let's build video and review of another vintage set. That's one of the sets from the early nineties actually, and I have really looked forward to releasing this because it's a set I really really like. I say that a lot about <laughs> I say that a lot about sets from the nineties, but this one is true as well. I do like it a lot. So that's what's coming out on Monday you can look forward to that and on Thursday there is going to be another there is going to be another interview from SFW I think I have 10 or 11 maybe even 12 of them uh, so uh, you might you will be seeing a lot of those coming out in the days to in in the weeks to come maybe even all the way till uh, Christmas there will still be uh, some of these uh, coming out but I hope you can live with that because I think 
most of that content is just brilliant because there's some very 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 skilled builders uh cas is definitely one of them but there's also others who are very very good at what they do and that's just that's just always worth looking at hello break not 30 welcome 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 my friend my daughter emily is having a late night and watching the stream with me oh hello emily hope you are doing great it's always great to see you on mark's videos you two have a great dynamic i think <coughs> oh there we go so yeah good to uh good to hear that the families are getting involved it's very very cozy i think uh, and hello brick not 30 and brick bakery can't braid my own hair can't see it but have braids in my beard that's cool that's very viking of you i think braided beard is the way to go beard, braided beard is the way to go if i had a beard in any sense i think i would go for braids that's for sure that is for sure that is for sure for sure -ba -bim -bim. So I'm doing something wrong because I have one of those left and I shouldn't have one of those left. I know what I'm doing wrong. It's this here that I'm doing wrong. Uh, I'd love to do a road trip to Pilon with my family one day. It's fairly straightforward or are there a tricky thing to be aware of? Uh, I, I guess it's mostly the tunnel you'll have to be aware of. That's probably probably going to be the trickiest thing. Other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward drive from uh, down there. Uh, but what do Cass say? I recently inherited about 80 Lego sets. Wow! Says Lego Maniac from around 1985 to 1995. Been spending the last two weeks organizing, wondering a little what I should do with all of them. You should make reviews, of course. Or, alternatively, you should build a 90s town. For sure. That is what you have to do, Lego Maniac. That is what you got to do. That is what you got to do. Got to do. This guy looks like he's not very satisfied with being at the uh, hot dog stand, or maybe he's afraid of something. So there's um, there's actually a, a, a two functionalities in this. There's this one here, which I imagine is sort of the the sausage cooler. This is where you can get your sausages, and then there's this, which is the sausage heater. So that's very nice. So you can actually get sausages from this one. That's very cool. So that is. Definitely the last build for this evening. There's a couple of uh, a couple of pictures in this one. Shows you a bit where the, when this is from. This is the Palace Cinema and the uh, City Hall, the modular cinema uh, cinema and the modular City Hall. I met Alice Finch. Imagined Whitney Stuart Harris, uh, Jamie Berard, Beyond the Brick, Brick Bakery, Blockhead UK, and a lot of my guys from our look. And one of my subscribers oh yes that was last thing i will add before i leave today is uh, i did meet uh, actually several of my subscribers and that was very very nice i really enjoyed saying hello to all of you and uh, just uh, talking i'm sorry if i if i seemed a bit busy because i really wanted to do all those interviews but i tried to take the time to talk with all of you uh, as much as i could and i really enjoyed meeting all of you it was so nice and of you to come and, and just just say hi it's always very it's very nice you, you just get all fussy and warm inside uh, when people come say hi and uh, you realize people are actually out there watching your stuff and uh, and uh, when people say they like what you do that's just oh that's uh, that's something that i'm almost bring it that'll almost bring a tear to my eye i was very very grateful for all that so thank you for all you who came said came said hi on the sfw it was great meeting you all but i think i'll be ending this uh stream today it was good to see you all after about 14 days of hiatus from streaming i will be back next week i am 95 percent sure the setup will probably be mostly the same this camera will be the way i will be doing it for a while now because um that is the opportunity i have so i hope i'll get my computer back pretty soon so we can get back to the good old two camera live stream so everybody i hope you're going to have a wonderful weekend and thank you for coming out i really enjoyed this and uh, yeah please take care and uh have just have a great weekend so see you guys next time